What if I told you the very first airplane crash didn't just break a machine? It claimed a life and nearly killed the man who invented flying itself. In 1908, just five years after their first flight, the Wright brothers were ready to sell their flying machine to the U.S. Army. But a single crack in the sky turned their dream into a nightmare that would haunt aviation forever. Orville Wright took off with a young Army officer, Lieutenant Thomas Selfridge, the first ever passenger in a military airplane. Seventy-five feet up in the air, they circled Fort Myer, wowing the crowd below. But then, snap! A propeller shattered, the fragile craft buckled. Orville fought for control, but the right flyer plunged like a stone. The impact was horrific. Wood splintered, metal bent, Orville was crushed under wreckage, bones broken. But worse, Lieutenant Selfridge, just 26, struck his head so violently, he became the first person to die in a powered airplane crash. Orville survived, scarred for life. The Wrights redesigned their planes, added helmets, safety was born in blood. This single crash changed aviation forever, a terrible reminder that every miracle in the sky is written in risk. Remember this, next time you fly.